adding competing products. In this lesson you're going to learn how to add competing products to your primary product list. These competing products prove the viability of your primary products. Adding two competing products to each of our primary products validates the demand. We need to know that there is more than just one product in the BSR range. If there is just one in our BSR range, then it could mean that there is not enough demand to support more than one product. Now, both the competing products should match the ASM criteria. However, the exception to this is the price. You can allow a little leeway for the price if several competing products have a lower price. If the majority of the products are lower priced though, then it is a sign that the price of the primary product is potentially not sustainable and we would remove that product. Competing products are similar products to the primary product. Now they can be identical and in quite a few cases this is what you are going to see. But if not identical they need to be as close as possible and provide the same function or experience. For example if the primary product is metal then the competing product should be too, not wood or plastic or any other material. But you're going to see examples of this when we start actually adding our competing products. Remember, some categories have different BSR ranges for the competing products. So make sure you've got the BSR range download next to your computer. You must be able to find two competing products that are inside the BSR ranges. And there can be more than two. If you find a competing product that has a lower BSR number than the range, in other words, it's more competitive, then we remove that product. The reason for this is that it is an indicator the product is too competitive. If you find a competing product that has a lower BSR number than your primary product, but is still inside the BSR range, then you make that product the primary product. Essentially what we're looking for is three products. To locate competing products, we use the main keyword for the primary product. The main keyword is essentially the phrase that a customer would type into the Amazon search to find the product. The majority of the time this will be pretty obvious, but we're going to go to Amazon and we're going to look at numerous examples so you understand the process. Okay, so here we are back at my workbook. You can see I've added a bunch more products. I've got 19 now. And you'll also notice we've changed the columns around. Now you'll have already noticed this because you will be getting the updated version. But all we've done is we've moved the estimated profit margin to the right. It's nothing to worry about because we're going to be using that in the next lesson. So it makes sense to have it at the end. Now, as I said, we're going to find the main keyword for our primary products and use that to find our competing products. So let's get started. If you click on any of the product URLs, you'll get a little kind of pop-up that you can click on and it opens the page for you. Now, this is our first product. It's a digital thermometer. So if we go copy digital thermometer, we're gonna paste it into the Amazon search bar. However, we're gonna select all departments and that's really important. Now, if you paste it in, it won't give you the drop down of suggested keywords. So if you paste in, just delete the last letter. And now it's showing cooking, medical, large, tailor, digital. None of these actually fit our product. So what I'm gonna do is, it's for a home. I'm going to see if home digital thermometer comes up and it comes up as one of the searches. So I'm going to click on it. Basically just a case of trying to find the right keyword. So the next step is for this search page, we're going to click on Jungle Scout and that's going to load all our results. Once it's fully loaded, and you'll know that because the numbers come up at the top, click on rank. Now straight away you can see we've got four products inside the top 100 in home and kitchen. Now if these are similar to our thermometer, then we will be deleting this product. To do that, we can just hover over the title. And as you can see, it's virtually the same. It's the same kind of thing. So this product is way too competitive. And if only one of these products was outside our BSR range, in other words, it had a lower BSR number than our range, then we would delete it. So we can close Jungle Scout and the tab, and we're just gonna go straight in and delete it. And you can actually just put your mouse cursor over the link you wanna open up. So do the next one. Okay, so we've got soap dispenser, touchless stainless steel automatic soap dispenser. I'm actually gonna take that entire keyword. I might just use stainless steel automatic soap dispenser, but if this comes up as a search in Amazon, I'm actually going to use it. And you can see it does, and we've even got a longer one. But I'm gonna stick with this one for now, and let's see what results it gives us. 
Okay, it's loaded, so I'm gonna click on Jungle Scout. Now using a keyword, it's only gonna show 16 results. So what you want to do is always click on Extract Next Page. You want at least the first two pages of results, because sometimes you can get an anomaly where a product appears on page two, even though it's got a much lower BSR number than the products on page one. So once we've done that, we've got two pages, we're gonna click on Rank. Now if we look at the first three products, they are all inside our BSR range, so we're all good. As far as BSR is concerned, then let's look at price. So the ones that are inside the BSR range, the price is all good. It's all well above $18.99 or $19. However, the fourth one is $16.99. I'm not too worried about that. You can see it's basically the same product. But even though it's a little bit below our $19, it's still pretty close. And it's not something that will worry me. Especially as if we go down, you can see the top eight results are all good price. I've got another one here at $16.99. Again, it's a similar product. But again, it's not too far outside the range. What you will find is once you get into really high BSR numbers, then the prices might drop because it could be a new product. So they drop the price to try and make sales, which you're going to be learning about in a later module. And also they may just be panicking because they're not making as many sales as the guys above. Now we will always strive to be the top price on Amazon. If you follow all the training in the upcoming modules, you should have a really, really good quality product. And you should, with all the marketing we're gonna teach you, be able to compete even at the highest price. Just want to mention that. So I'm perfectly happy with this. This is our primary product. So I'm gonna copy the URL for the next one for the second product in the list. I'm gonna go back to our workbook and then paste it in to URL two. And as before, I'm gonna shorten it. Then we want the BSR of the second product and the reviews for the second product. So the BSR is 2872 and it has 328 reviews. Then we just need to grab the third one. Just always check it looks a similar product and that does. Copy the link address, pasting it into URL3, shorten it. You don't have to shorten if you don't want to, it just makes it easier. And it's 5861 and it has a massive 4,205 reviews. Now, when it comes to reviews, we're gonna be using those more in the next lesson when we narrow down our list. If you find that your primary product and the two competing products have 1,000 reviews each or more, then you would actually just delete that product. If the top three products have all got more than 1,000 reviews, it's gonna be very difficult to compete. But in this case, the first two are at 334 and 328, so we're all good. Okay, so we've recorded our first product. And let's move on to the next one. I can actually close that Amazon tab now. Okay, our next product is an OXO Good Grip Simply Tear Standing Paper Towel Holder. Simply Tear might be an OXO term, so we probably don't want to use that. But essentially, it's a stainless steel standing paper towel holder. So I'm going to change the category to All Departments. Paste stainless steel in. And obviously, you can just type this in. I'm just being lazy. And as you can see, it is a keyword. It's recognizing it. So you can just actually click on that. We can see these products look pretty much the same. These two we probably wouldn't count as the same because they're not all stainless steel. But let's go and see what Jungle Scout tells us. So it's the first page. I'm going to extract the second page. And once that's done, click on rank. Now, these are anomalies. And you do need to be a little bit careful about these. For the most part, it probably means they've only just launched or there's an issue with it or it's not in stock. So you do need to bear those in mind. But let's scroll down. Now, if we look, we've only got two products inside our range. So that is a little worrying. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna close the Jungle Sky tab and I'm gonna make the keyword a bit smaller. Now I'm not doing this trying to force getting the right results. I'm just trying to see if possibly there are other stainless steel hold, paper towel holders out there that don't rank for this keyword. And that's something we'll get into in later modules. But I'm just gonna look at standing paper towel holder. So I'm just gonna click on the standing paper towel holder. I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful this time. I'm gonna to have to make sure that all of the products are actually stainless steel because when we're looking for these competing products, we're looking for products that are as close as possible to the product we've got as our primary. So let's check this one out. I'm gonna search by rank. Now it's giving us more results. And this will normally happen if you reduce the number of words in the keyword, but you need to make sure that the products you find are the same. So the second one that comes up, it's $7.99, which is a worry, but let's have a look at it. Now, I'll open this up, and what you can see is, it's just a standing paper towel holder. It's not the single rip. You would have to use two hands. So although it is a stainless steel standing paper towel holder, it doesn't have the feature of being able to be a one tear. So it does make it different than ours. And that's probably the reason it's only $7.99. But let's look at this one. So you can see here, easy one-handed tear kitchen. It's chrome, so we know that's similar. Now it's $17.99, which is a, a dollar below what we're looking for, 
but that's not something that worries me. However, the next one's $9.99. If we look at that, again, it's just a plain holder. So it's not the same as our product. So when you get these situations, for instance, this one, we decided it wasn't the same. Just come across and as we did before, click on the cross and delete it. I'm going to do the same for this one because this one didn't match. Now the next one's $15.50. It's a single tear. This one's not the same product. Definitely not the same product. It's not single tear. This one is. So this next one, that's not stainless steel. That's not stainless steel. That's similar. It's not stainless steel. This one, I'm not sure it's single tear. I'm just going to open it up. Nope, it's not single tear, or at least it doesn't look like it, even though it's shaped a bit like it. And it's bronze. It's not. That's not a single tear or stainless steel, and neither is that. So we're left with five products. We've got three inside our range. Of those three, one's a $24.95, which is obviously a very good price. The next one's a dollar out, so I'm not too worried. The next one's $15.50. When you get situations like this, it becomes a subjective call on your part. In this situation, I'm going to record it because when we get into the next lesson, when we start narrowing down our list, we might find that this product doesn't compare with all the other products we find. But I am gonna record it. So we've got the OXO Good Grips one. I'm gonna right click on the Umbra one, paste it into URL two. BSR is 1156 and 326 reviews. And the third one, the Polder Single Tear, is 4252 and 499 reviews. Now, at this point, because we weren't 100% sure about this one, what you can do is highlight the line by clicking on the number to the left, then go up to the text color and just put it in orange. There's almost like a little bit of a warning you're not 100% sure about it. Okay, let's move on to the next product. Stilling Pro Double Wall Stainless Steel French Coffee Press. So I'm gonna grab this keyword. It seems to make the most sense. I'm not entirely sure what double wall means. Go to all departments, I'm gonna paste it in. And again, you can just delete the last letter to see what comes up. And I think the keyword I've got is better than the one they're suggesting. So I'm going to click on search, open up Jungle Scout, click extract next page. So we've got two pages of results and then click on rank. And straight away, we've got a product at 93 in kitchen and dining. That's incredibly competitive, but let's make sure it's the same kind of product as the one we've got. It's our primary product. And as you can see, it looks pretty much the same. So I'm actually going to delete this product. So close it, and then I'm gonna click on the number four and delete row. Now at this point, I just wanna clarify that when I did these searches, I didn't go down 10 pages. I only went down five or six pages because I didn't wanna start pulling up results that you guys will be getting and showing them on the video and everything. The idea here is for me to show you the process. So we might end up, I might only have two or three products here. If that is the case, I'll go and add some more. So I've got enough to show you how to narrow down your list. Remember, you should always go a minimum of 10 pages and the further you go down the pages, the better results you're gonna have and the more options you're gonna have. But let's move on. What's this one? Okay, so it's a power washer spray nozzle. And we can see what it's like. I'm gonna scroll up to all departments, paste in the search, you can see it's got the same keyword but with an S on the end and there's no other keyword that I think is better so I'm going to click search. Click Jungle Scout and then extract the second page and then click rank. So we're okay for rank. We've got numerous ones here inside our range which is good and then price. So we've got one at $6.79. Obviously that would be a disaster so let's have a look. Okay so it's very different. It's just actually the nozzle tips. So I'm going to delete that one. The next one 116. That's an entire power washer so we can get rid of that one. Again, we've got $7.99, it's just the tips, so we get rid of that one. And again, it's the tips, and again, it's the tips. Okay, that's not our product, it's not the nozzle. That's more like it, although that's a gun, and it is a lot more expensive. So I'm gonna remove that one. But here's a tip, when you see something like this, so this one is obviously a more advanced version of the one we've got, then go and search this one. See if it's a viable product, it might well be. This is a good way of finding other products when you're going through this. But for this example, we're just gonna delete it because it doesn't match. Again, it doesn't match, it's not the same. Spray nozzle, it matches. As you can see, oh, another one, another gun. So we're gonna delete that one, but there you go. We've got two guns, that's not it. And as you can see, it looked like this was gonna be a good product, but all of a sudden, this does not look like a viable product. But let's add wand because that's one of the products I saw and it had one in the title. And let's take a look at this one because this might remove the other ones like the gun and everything. But let's see, I don't have a lot of hope. I'll be quite honest, but let's just see. And we'll extract the second page, click on rank. Okay, we have to get rid of that one. That's very similar. That's not, that's an extension. It's not the same. That's an entire machine. That's complete kit. It's not the same as our product. That's potentially the same, I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to say that's not, it's not the same. So I'm going to remove it. Third one kind of looks the same, but you can see it hasn't got the trigger. So again, that one's got to go. That includes the hose. So we're not using that one. 
that's a gun that's the accessories kit that's one with a gun that one's similar in fact it's almost identical so patio lawn and gardens 3500 so we're actually only got two products still so it's a goner it was looking good for a while but it's no good so i'm gonna click on the number four right click and delete the row Okay, let's go for the next one. So this one's a little bit more difficult, but I'm looking at bento style lunchbox. I'm gonna assume that's the keyword. I'm gonna to change to all departments. And I'm just gonna remove the hyphen in between bento style. I'm not sure why they put that in. And click search. Looks like predominantly the similar product. Click on jungle scout. Click on extract next page. And click on rank. So the first product at the top is 207. The lowest BSR number in the range for kitchen and dining is 250. So while it's not a long way outside, it still is outside. And on top of that, if we look, we've got all these ones, a much cheaper price. So that would worry me. So the fact we've got a product that has a lower BSR number than our range, plus we've got a product at 1385. And although there are, there, and there are other products at low prices too, and although they're not identical, they are similar, it's actually gonna put me off. But I would actually remove this product anyway, just because of the rank. So I'm gonna close that. Not doing great here, are we? But as I said, this is to be expected, especially because I didn't go far enough. Let's take a look at another example. Now I'm pretty sure this one isn't gonna make the grade. It's also currently unavailable for whatever reason. They're probably out of stock. Although that could be a good sign because it could mean they're selling well. But this one, it's a stainless steel cheese grater. I'm not too concerned about vegetable slicer as well. Most people know what a cheese grater is. So I've put stainless steel cheese grater in. I'm gonna click on Jungle Scout. I can tell straight away this isn't looking good. I'm gonna extract the second page. Okay, click on Rank. So we're okay for Rank, but looking at price, this does not look good. That's similar, it doesn't look as good quality, but it's still similar. That's very similar, and it's at 5.99. So I'm gonna delete this one, purely on price. You can see all of these graters are all much, much cheaper and way below our price range. So another one bites the dust. Close that one out. I'm gonna delete that one. So I'm gonna pause the video here. I'm gonna go through and complete all of these. If anything interesting jumps up, I'll restart the video to show you it. But just to save you watching me go through all 19 of these products, I'm gonna pause the video now and carry on filling out all the information. Okay, so I finished adding the competing products and there's a couple of things I do want to show you. But first of all, products five and six both had a competing product with a BSR number that was much lower than our range. So both of those have to go. So I'm gonna delete them. Now this next one, what's interesting here is that we have this situation I mentioned about a competing product having a lower BSR number than our primary product. So as you can see, the first competing product, in other words, URL2, has a BSR of 1279, whereas the primary has a BSR of 2212. So what I will do before we go to the next lesson is I will switch these around and I will make the first competing product the primary product and move the primary product into the first competing products place. And I will also use the price of this product, not the primary product, because what we want is, we want the product out of the three with the lowest BSR number that's still in the range to be the primary product. And we use the price of that product because essentially that's the highest ranked version of that product. Now the next three products you can see in red, all three of them, the competing products prices were way too low. And basically it just means that we can't guarantee that we're gonna be able to achieve a price of at least $19 because the primary products actually had a far higher price than the rest. Now I did mention this before, these three products, they're competing products. The majority of the competing products all had very low prices. So it's not like there were just a couple. So they all get deleted. Now the next two were fine. This product's quite interesting. So we ended up with the competing products having a low price, but the other thing, and I'm just gonna open this up to show you is, it's this fridge magnet set. And if I scroll down, you see this warning. Warning, choking has its small parts, not for children under three years. This just adds an added complication that we don't want to deal with. So even though I would have removed it anyway for the price, I just wanted to show you that. So we're deleting this one too. Now this next one is a very interesting situation. You'll see our primary product is in tools and its BSR is 2327. And the first competing product has a BSR of 946, but that's actually in patio, lawn and garden, which is a smaller category. And our third product, this product is actually in tools as well, and that has a lower price. That has a lower BSR. 
So that would automatically rank higher than our primary. Now, when you get this kind of situation, you just have to try and gauge yourself which you think is the primary product. So essentially, we're looking at both competing products. Which one do we think would be the primary? whether it's 946 in Pachelon and Garden or 2050 in Tools. Now, we can just guess, but we can also use Jungle Scout. So if I open up this product and hit Jungle Scout, you can see it's 912 in Pachelon and Garden. So what we can do is we can go to the three lines, in other words, the setups, we can click on Columns and we can check the box for estimated sales and then click Save. And now when I open it up again, it's gonna give me the estimated sales. So we're talking about this Magif solar flagpole light, and you can see it's saying 728 sales. So we can then close this, go back and open up the second product, hit Jungle Scout, and it's saying 907 sales. So our second competing product actually makes more sales than the rest. And you can triple check this by actually going to our primary product and doing exactly the same. And you can see it only makes 494 sales. So that's how we would actually rank those products. So closing these out, basically the order of these products is going to be reversed. In other words, the second competing product will actually be the primary and the second one will actually stay exactly where it is, but the primary product will become the second competing product. And you can do that for any of the products if you wish, but you only really need to do it in a situation where you've got a different category because essentially, if a product has a lower BSR numbers, it's making more sales. Now, the last product on our list, we had a product with a very low BSR number that was outside the range. So again, we're gonna delete this one. So as you can see, I started with 19, I'm left with seven. Now, part of the reason for this is, as I said earlier, I actually didn't go very deep in these categories. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this video out and I'll probably go and add another three products. I highly recommend you have at least 10 products, all verified to take through where we're going to use estimated profit margin to enable us to look at these products, look at the other criteria, the numbers for it, so we can narrow our list down to just our three best hot opportunities and then we'll be taking them forward into the next lesson. So what's next? So now you have added competing products to your hot product opportunity list. In the next lesson, we are going to take the list and narrow it down to choose just three products. So your action step, add competing products to your list. If required, repeat searches so that you have at least 10 products for the next lesson. As always, more is better. The more products you have to compare and the better choices you're gonna have available to you. But that's it for this lesson, take care.